Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I'm going to start doing whatever's necessary to take the, the motor out of the truck. So I'm not going to film it, you know, every turn of the spanner. But uh, what I'll do, I'll stop now and, now and then and just show you how, how I'm proceeding. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that motor out and put the old 59 flatty in there to, so we can run it on the road. Right, the radiator is out. I drained all the coolant out. I've disconnected the battery. And um, so I think what I'm going to try and do is take it out with the hood in place. So <clears throat> what I'm going to try what I'll probably do is take off the inlet manifold so I can lift the engine really low down so I can pull it up and out. I'm going to try that. I don't fancy wrestling with the bonnet with the hood. Okay, back when there's more to show. There's the uh, fan belt. Took the uh, generator out there, the dynamo. There's the fan belt. There's all the mats from inside. There's the uh, transmission cover. There's the radiator. Uh, I'm going to undo all the mats around the transmission. I've took off the distributor cap and leads. Uh, I've just undone the fuel pipe. I've took the generator off, which meant undoing the wires there, you know, that go over to the regulator. Uh, the engine mount bolts are out. So really, the awkward thing now is that I need to deal with the exhaust, which is kind of down there which means I might have to do that from underneath, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, and the starter, the connection to the starter. Various things. I'll keep working then and I'll give you a little update when I'm a bit further down the line. Okay. There we are, look. It doesn't look too bad, does it? I might just take the carburetor off and leave the manifold on, actually. Hello. Right, so I'm lying under the truck and trying to get those two nuts undone and they're rather corroded can you see them up there on the exhaust manifold um, I can't really get a straight shot at either of them and they're like um, they're uh, five eighths and uh, a little bit kind of corroded, so a little bit undersized maybe, but I'm not doing very well, so I've hit a little bit of a stumbling block. I might do better to actually just try and take the whole manifold off, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it to go out the way, which is a bit of a, a pain isn't it, but I suppose, well, I could take the starter off I suppose and then try and maybe just warm them up with the oxyacetylene but don't really want to come under here with you know oxyacetylene but okay I'll carry on struggling then and I'll bring you back when there's more to show okay back in a bit you guys would not believe the struggle I've gone through <laughs> um, I've just fished this whole manifold out through here I've had to take all the exhaust stuff loosen the cross pipe and then take all these manifold bolts out here and I finally just luckily I've, I've been able to fish this through and it's it's out now look Whoa. can't believe how rusty that is down there so what I'll do now now that it's out I'll um, put some oxyacetylene on it and loosen them but what I'll do I'll See if I can find some um, brass nuts, you know, I'll order some brass nuts and put plenty of uh, copper grease on them and stuff. Okay. Right, that's a little hurdle that I, uh, you know, struggled with. Okay. Um, I've, I've took all the gearbox bolts out uh, and I've got the gearbox supported on that ratchet strap up to that brace behind the dash there, up there. Um, I've just remembered the 
engine steady rods though so I need to undo those okay I'm gonna have a little break now because to be honest that was quite hard work under the truck I did all that underneath without jacking it up so I've been in that gap down there okay nice good progress um, I'm not in the first flush of youth, so it's been hard work, you know, getting down and getting up, getting down, getting up, but, uh, you know, it's rewarding, isn't it, in the end? Okay, I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Cheers then, bye. Um, I just got the uh, oxyacetylene fired up. I heated up there, this, the nut there, and I heated up the nut there, and I just got the, oh, not that one, I just got this on the go, and uh, brup, brup, brup them on and off, brup them off. I'm shocked at how rusty this is though. Anyway, okay, that's got that done, undone. And what I'll do, I'll I'll look at what I can do to improve those studs. And uh, I'll look at getting some, maybe some brass nuts or something. The other one went down here somewhere. I'll have to watch it because it might go, might want to catch on fire. There it is. Because that's still hot, you see. So there's the two nuts, but th these are 5 8 AF, which is unusual for these are 5 8 AF, which is unusual for a uh, 7 16 nut. It's, it's the non, non uh, preferred size or non standard size, so that's the thing. It's a shame that because I don't know if I've got another gasket that'll fit that. Okay. Anyway, that's that. At least we've got it apart. Right, okay. I've been working on the truck most of the day. Uh, although we did go out and walk the dog in the middle of the day. But um, it's now at a position where I'm ready to... The final stages of pulling the engine out. Um, I've got to open... Undo the bonnet stays. And so the bonnet will open wider and I'll tie it back um, I'll probably take the carburetor off and I'll rig up the stuff but I'm going to leave that for another day now because like I said I've been working on it most of the day and to be honest I'm pretty exhausted you know I don't want to start making silly mistakes or getting hurt it took ages to get that off there it's just all the nuts and bolts are awkward angles you can't get a straight shot at them and you having to use UJs and long sockets and things. But here's an example, look, see the, the tools there, look. These are all the tools I've used on this job. It's amazing, isn't it, how, how just how many you need. Or, you know, you might try something and it don't work, but it's amazing, you know, how, how much stuff you uh, need when you want to do a job. Okay, I'll bring you back probably tomorrow when I carry on and we'll get this motor yanked out of here. Thanks a lot then. Cheers then. Bye. Hello. Look, I've brought the engine hoist out to the truck and I've offered on the load leveller and the hoist won't come back far enough. So, I'm going to have to take the bumper off. Which is a pain, isn't it? I hadn't thought about that. Looks like it might be a bit touch and go, even with the grill there. It's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Let's get the bumper off then. Oh, I came out last night and I took the um, carburetor and the generator and the uh, fuel pump stand off and anything else that I could think of. So. You know, we're, we're in a position... Oh, and I, I undid the nuts on the um, engine steady rods. But uh, I can't find the special spanner that I made to undo the rear end of those rods. So I'm going to pull the engine first, then deal with those afterwards. Okay, I'll bring you back when I've made a little bit of progress. Okay, I've... Um Improvised a little bit here to reduce the overall height of the lifting tackle. Um, I've just put a Ford shackle there 
and got rid of all the chains and the two hooks and things. The tension is on. Um, I've had to just put it just slightly the one side of the grill there. Not ideal. Um, it's just to the point where it should be lifting. Let's look, watch the engine mounts. There you go. Okay, that's just lifting now. And it just came forward a tiny bit there. It's going to come up a little bit to clear that. And then I imagine I'll be having to pull the bonnet back a bit further. But let's, um, okay, let's just give a little lift. Okay, and I'm going to do that trick that I did on the 32, which is to push the clutch pedal. So down there, you should be able to see the clutch down there. Where are we looking? It's already a long way down. Oh, it must be off a little bit already, okay. Okay, that's supported on that ratchet strap. Yeah, it's gone forward about half an inch. I just looked on the engine, steady rod, and it's gone forward about half an inch. raised about an inch at the front, probably a little bit more. Okay, I could do with both hands now. Let's just try pulling this, see what happens. There you go. Yeah, okay, it's off the gearbox. Let's just come forward a bit. I know that I need to undo my oil thing at the back because I couldn't get onto it when it was in place. But that's You have to go around and check. So it's, it's out of the um, thing, look. Engine steady rod. And it's off the gearbox. And it's more or less hanging loose now. Okay, um, let me have a think. I'll bring it up a bit. <laughs> I didn't really intend to film this. I intended to just do a little update. Okay, so that's up. forward a bit. I just wanted to get the hoist away from the grill. I think it's just dangling in mid-air now. I think the choke rod there is in the way. Let's come forward a bit more. Good job it ain't like a show car, innit? Okay, that's alright. So I need to go vertically up now. And I need to undo that thing down there, down there. Okay, so I'll get a 7 16 spanner now. Do that. Oh, that must be 3 eighths. Okay. Let me find a spanner. Tell you what, I'll stop the recording. I'm just going to undo that then and uh, I'll bring it out as far as I can and I'll show you how it looks. I thought I was recording then but obviously I wasn't but I've basically lifted the engine without any drama from down there to this point here. Uh, I undid the thing that goes on there and I just tucked it out of the way. Uh, the throttle rod there the hand, no, the, the choke rod there got a little bit tangled up. Uh, and I've gone as high and as far forward as I can. And now I'm hitting on there. So my next step is to undo those bolts and then bring the hood up and back further. 
open wide which is quite uh, fitting as I've just come back from the dentist <laughs> okay I'll show you a top tip can you see down there can you see that what I've done I've slipped the spring off the accelerator arm that allows the accelerator arm to spring just to sit back against the firewall there against the bulkhead so that's a good little tip to get that out of the way and this appears to have got a little bit bent but okay so I will now continue and do my best I've got to undo these okay okay it's going okay let's uh, let's get to the next stage okay I'll bring it back when I when I've got some more to show Okay, can you see up there? Look, I've put um, a ratchet strap back to my new uh, headache rack. Okay, now I'm hoping that will give me enough height here. Let's see. Okay. Might come slightly to the side actually. Sorry, Mitch. Okay, so now I need to go higher. Here, look. Checking up there. Just about okay. But what I can do, well, what I could have done. No, I can't do that. I was going to say I could tilt it forward a little bit to raise the back. I might need to do that actually. Not sure I, I'm not sure I can though because I've got no give here. Okay, well let's just give it a go anyway. There's nothing to... And now it's past there, look. I can go higher, so... I can lift it off there. There we go, we're out actually. Yeah, we're out, okay, good. Right. Okay. I'll just bring it forward then. There she is, out. So what I'll do now, I'll lower it down because it's best not to have things suspended longer than they need to be. I'll bring it down close to the ground then I'll find a little trolley to put it on. Just let it come down gently. Okay, good. Right. I've had to shove the coop forward. I'm hoping that this gap will be big enough. Here's the old 59. So I need to put the oil pan back on this. Other than that, it's ready to go. It was ready to go, but I, I took the oil pan off to measure the bearings. So I've got a lot of data from the bearings now. Okay, right. So I might leave it at that then because there you can see the motor is out. You can see what I need to do. I need to get the other engine back in one piece and um, do the swap. Okay, I'll bring it back when there's more to show. I have um, I had this all buttoned up but I took the oil pan off again because what I've done I've measured all these bearings not all of them but these front ones and this one just to give me an idea what size the crank is and I've written all the numbers down as far as I can tell the crank is 10 thou down and the on the mains and 20 thou on the uh, rod ends on the rod bearings so that's just a little bit of background knowledge 
in case I decide to do something further down the line. I just wanted to get those numbers in hand. And I've taken some measurements and there's approximately four to four and a half thou wear on the, uh, well, four to four and a half thou clearance. And I believe the factory spec is anywhere up to about three and a half thou clearance. So it's only a little bit out of factory spec. Um, but that's probably enough to affect the oil pressure. So it's got new cam bearings in. I put a new oil pump on. I've used um, a uh, O-ring in that where it mounts there. And it's a, a, a bigger volume oil pump. It's got the bigger gears. So there's the oil pan. I've cleaned the oil pan. So that's going back on now. I'll bring it back when there's more to show. Number one schoolboy error, you can't put the oil pan on with the pulley fully in place. There we go. <laughs> okay. Right, I need to kind of jiggle the gasket around to get it lined up. It's not too bad. I can put like a spike down it and wobble it around. Um, yeah, it's a bit out there, look, so I need to pull the gasket that way. Okay. You don't need to see me do that, it's all pretty simple stuff. Righto, I'll see you in a little bit then. Bye. Hello. Um, I'll put the oil pan on. Um, you know how... You suddenly have a, th a thought, you think, oh blimey, I wonder if I did this or I wonder if I did that. Well, I had one of those thoughts when I was reviewing the footage of me putting this together. And it occurred to me, I don't remember putting the safety wire on the flywheel bolts. So I've just done this. Yeah, look. Okay, so that's another quick little job before I put it back together. I'll put that back there because I... I need to find somewhere clean to put it down so it doesn't get oily. Okay, I'll bring you back. Just shows how, doesn't it, that it's easy to miss stuff and it's easy to forget stuff. Especially when you do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there, and you dodge back from this and you do something else and you come back to this and you do something else. So, okay, once again, I'll bring you back when there's more to show. There's the safety wire in place so I can sleep at night. Now. Hey, what? Working one handed isn't very good, you know. Yeah, get in there. There we are. Okay, right. Okay, I'll put that back together then. Okay, well, there's the um, engine out the truck. I've brought it into the garage. There's the truck. I'll leave it like that. It'll be alright, I think. Uh, there she blows. Oh, the one thing I must remember to do is um, change the release bearing. Interesting that that's got a grease fitting on it, look. Hmm, never noticed that before. Okay, oh, and I need to loosen off those things. I need to find that special spanner. Okay, I'm going to Leave it at that for now then and I'll, um, well, let's have a little round up in here, hang on. Yeah, so there's the engine out of the truck. That's going to go into the uh, sedan. And there's the 59 flatty. I've just um, put the oil pan back on and uh, put it back up right in the stand. Oh, and I've safety wired the flywheel bolts. I'd forgotten about those. So they're all done up now. I hope you don't mind, but I've been using a, um, just using my mobile phone to just kind of capture what I've done because there's so much work involved in this. You can't record every single turn of the spanner and it gets a bit tedious watching, watching speed it up, speed it up footage, doesn't it? So I hope you don't mind, but that's the way I'm going to, continue just for the short while while I'm doing this particular job if there's anything 
if there's a particular job that I haven't done before or, you know, it's an interesting one, I really want to show some detail, I'll get the proper camera out and all the audio and everything that goes with it. But for now, I'm just using my phone and um, capturing it on that. Normally, say what I'm going to do, then I go off and do it, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. <laughs> hope, you don't, hope you like that format. It's, it's, it's a watchable format. A lot of other people use that. Okay, thanks a lot then. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.